My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. Recently here on the channel, I began a series that focuses on outdoor companies, their warranty policies, and their repair services. And the first episode was in regards to Nemo and a sleeping pad which I had that developed issues. What took place between I and the company was shocking to some, including myself. If you haven't seen that episode, make sure to check it out. But as a quick refresher, I had an issue with the sleeping pad from Nemo. The company told me to cut it up and throw it in the garbage instead of repairing it, which absolutely blew my mind and blew the mind of most viewers. Nemo is a company that's rather vocal about their environmental standpoint, and unfortunately, all of that was just BS. It was all garbage. It meant nothing. The company says one thing, did something else. Ultimately, I did get a replacement of that pad, but not a repair. In a way, it's great customer service, but then at the same time, there's just so much fluff, and that's what everybody was shocked about. In the first episode of this series, I mentioned that I would never waste the time of a company. I will only make one of these videos when I have a real-world issue. Well, a new issue has popped up, and this time it deals with some Comperdale trekking poles. These right here. If you haven't heard of this company before, allow me to tell you a little bit about them. They are based in Austria, I believe, and they make trekking poles and ski poles. That's what they're known for. So a little bit of backstory concerning these. These are the poles that I had an issue with. So some time back, I was filming a video about a tarp and I used these to set that up. So I filmed the video, I was done, I was breaking everything down. I go over to a trekking pole and I grab it and I pull it out, right? to remove it from the tarp and I snapped it in half. Well, the thing is the pole snapped in half because I hyper extended it. I had extended the pole past the point of no return really. The inner mechanism, the inner locking mechanism was exposed. When I grabbed the pole and pulled on it, it snapped it in half. This was an issue that was completely my fault. Since I broke the pole, I figured I would reach out to the company to see what they can help me with. Maybe repair this, replace the part that was broken. I wanted to see what the company would say, at least. I should mention this, everyone. These poles are like seven, eight years old. They're so old, in fact, I was unable to find the receipt information concerning them. I know that I purchased them from Sierra Trading Post before they were purchased by TJ Maxx. I can log into my account, but I can't pull up the records from that far back. The site just simply does not work. After breaking the trekking pole, I went to the Comperdale website. I got the contact information for a repair. So I sent that email address a message, and this is what I said. I will have to read this from my notes. So I said, Hey Comperdale team, hope everything is well this week. I am reaching out to talk about a potential repair or fix for my broken trekking pole. I have the Comperdale Trekker Cork Alloy 7075 pole and one is broken. I have owned them for several years and have used them extensively and I would like to know if it's possible to get them repaired or am I out of luck? Thanks for any help and insight that you can provide. I should mention this, I set up an alias email account for this email exchange because I want to be treated as anyone else would. The channel is very well known in the outdoor space and I didn't want any special privileges or anything like that. So check this out everyone, 15 minutes later I get a response from the company. 15 minutes. Thank you for reaching out about your Comperdale trekking poles. We offer a three-year warranty on our telescoping poles where we have you send it in, we repair it at no charge, and you get it right back. I've attached a copy of our warranty repair form with all information on where to send it in. So I replied the exact same day and I said, thank you so much for getting back to me. I've owned these trekking poles for approximately five to seven years. I'm not really certain, but it's been a very long time. That was my best estimate with them and I was wondering if I can get anything done for them. One is broken as it snapped in half the other day and the other one doesn't seem to tighten well anymore. And let me mention that. Let me show you what I'm talking about there. This was not their fault, but you can see this black ring, right? This is just a piece of plastic that goes around the top. I was manhandling these sometime back years ago actually and I put so much force on it and I twisted it that I tore this off so it was loose. The pole itself actually did tighten but it was this part that didn't. That's my fault not their fault. It was not a quality issue with the trekking pole. I was just manhandling it. I said uh, do you offer anything in regards to after three years of ownership? Thank you again. So after this point it took roughly four days for the company to respond. They replied again after four days and it says in most cases we should be able to repair the pole. Would you be able to send us some photos for reference? One photo of the entire pole, another of the broken pieces. I replied the same day and I said that I'm attaching pictures of both of the poles. One is broken and it would be completely my fault, but I would love a repair of it. The other pole where I focused on the black 
black plastic piece could benefit from a repair as well. It's become loose and it slides around. Again, that's my fault as well. I totally manhandled it and tore it off. I've reached out to see if I can get these issues fixed despite them being older and with it being my fault. I realize that I'm outside of the warranty time frame, but I thought it would be worthwhile to reach out to you all to see if there's anything the company can do. I'm more than happy to cover the repair costs. Now, folks, I am paraphrasing some of these messages here just for the simple sake of time. I received a reply the next day and the company said this. Thanks for sending over the photos. It looks like a pretty clear break and something we would be able to fix. Please go ahead, send them in with the warranty form so we can get these repaired for you. I replied and I said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I will send them to you all. Thanks again. From that point, I shipped off the poles and I did not receive any further communication from them. 14 days later, the poles are back and they are good as new, completely fixed. I paid for the shipping to the company, and from there the company covered the repair and the shipping to me. I have to say this, folks, I am truly impressed with this company. The company was extremely polite, they responded in a reasonable amount of time each time, and in truth, they went beyond that. I mean, 15 minutes. <laughs> that's amazing. I sent them a message, 15 minutes later, I got a reply. And that's often how it worked. In my opinion, the company went above and beyond when it comes to repairing these. You have to keep in mind that these are at least seven years old. Seven years old. I have no receipt. I can't even get the information concerning this purchase to come up on the Sierra Trading Post website. It simply does not load. It like errors out. But the company, they took them, they fixed them, even though the issues were completely my fault. The brake, I was just manhandling. The same goes for the plastic ring right here. Again, my fault. With these trekking poles, these are products that you've seen me use over the years, but not so much for hiking and whatnot. And that's because of this simple fact. When it comes to filming, having a tripod, a camera in one hand, having trekking poles in the other, it just doesn't work. It just gets in the way. Because of that, anytime I'm filming an adventure, I have the camera with me. When I'm not filming trips, I'm using my trekking poles. And these have seen a ton of use. And you can see by looking at them, these are extremely well-worn trekking poles and they continue to go strong, especially now after they've been repaired. A big thank you goes out to the Comperdale team for repairing my trekking poles. They were very professional. They answered all of my questions. I felt like a valued customer and I really like that. And that's not the case when working with all companies. The simple truth is everyone, when it comes to getting repairs done, when it comes to using a warranty, right? Not all companies are the same, but in this case, the company has set an excellent example. So way to go, Comperdale team. I really appreciate it. Now, my friends, I'd like to hear from you. Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about the exchange, about the repair that took place with these trekking poles? Again, the company really did go above and beyond, and I really appreciate that, even though I was more than happy to pay for the repairs of these trekking poles. As I mentioned before, the company offers a three-year, no questions asked repair policy, warranty policy, which is top notch. You don't have to show a receipt. You don't have to show any details. You just have to send it in. That's pretty damn amazing. I can tell you all from my experiences that most companies will make you jump through serious hoops to get a repair done, but that's not the case with Comperdale. That wraps it up for this episode. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up before you go. You can consider subscribing. And if you want, you can support the Outdoor Gear Review on Patreon, on YouTube. You can join the Wolf Pack. You can join the family. The channel here is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell products. I'm here to share information, my opinions, and that's it. Take care, everyone. Be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.